You ever think about um, the word useless? Um, we throw that word around and definitely if anybody's ever told you you were useless, that's, that's not a good thing. That's not something that really makes for a great day in our lives. But there are a lot of useless things in the world um, beyond obviously people. There's nobody that's useless. But we, we do use that language and we think it in terms of, man, this, this, you might buy something and, and think that it's going to be good and you're like, this thing is useless. Um, there's an interesting passage of scripture that sort of like got my attention. I've been reading through the Old Testament minor prophets and Malachi, he says in chapter one, oh, that one of you would shut the temple doors so that you would not light useless fires on my altar. I said, whoa, useless fires on the altar of the Lord Almighty. That, like, man, that's the Lord saying, look, sometimes it's easy for us to, to get engaged in behavior that's really we're trying to please God, and it's a useless fire on the altar. You know, what makes it useless? It's always about the heart of the person who brought the fire. So if we're going to church and we're like, man, I need to go to church because if I don't go to church, I feel God guilty. That's a useless fire. If, if I'm giving an offering financially and I, I, I give to the kingdom and I'm like, man, if I don't give to the kingdom, then you know, I'm, not, I'm not doing what I should do. Useless fire. Like, that's not how it works. The way it works is, man, out of the overflow of the heart, as, I, as, I'm, as I'm walking with the Lord, then I learn to reap the truth that he teaches me. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And so I have a desire to give financially. So as I bring that financial gift, I bring it with joy and with cheer, as the Lord says, uh, that we're to be cheerful givers, then that, that's not a useless fire because it's coming out of the overflow of my heart. If I'm going to church and I'm like, wake up on Sunday and man, I'm, I want to be around spiritual family, people who are walking this journey and, and they're experiencing the same things with the Lord that I am, then going to church is no longer a useless fire. So if I'm, if I'm helping someone in need and I do it out of obligation, it's useless. If I do it out of genuine love that's flowing out of my heart, then it's no longer a useless fire. It becomes something that I believe Paul talks about, gold, silver, precious stone. It's something that passes through the refining fire of Christ, and it is not useless because it's all about something that's originating from my relationship with Jesus. I'm walking with him. He's showing me. He's directing me the direction I should go and the things um, that will bring freedom into my life. And so that's how we avoid being or doing or offering useless fires on the altar of the Lord. And it just blows my mind that the Lord is saying through this prophet that, oh, that someone would shut the doors of the temple so that people would no longer offer useless fires. I wonder if in the church, sometimes the Lord may look and go, man, oh, that someone would shut the doors of this church because there's too much useless fire being offered on my altar. Man, I don't want to walk there. I don't want to be anywhere near there. And I'm encouraged to hear how the Lord views that, that it's not out of my performance that he's honored, but it's out of my relationship with him and understanding who I am as a kid in the kingdom. And that keeps me from offering useless fire on the altar of the Lord. I don't think you're useless. I don't think you want to offer useless fire. So think about how you can walk with him and allow out of the overflow of your heart things to be offered to the king that bring honor and glory to him.